Peggy 16. Oh, what's up guys, I'm Wes Budden, a senior game designer on UFC Undisputed 3. I'm here to talk about career mode today. For UFC 3, what we wanted to do is streamline the process to get you back into the fights as quickly as possible. The goal this year was to have more things for you to do with less time to do them. The amount of time spent in between each fights has been reduced, so you're only gonna get two to three actions before you're going into your next fight. Once you get into your fight and get back into your training for your next fight, you gotta try and pick which area you wanna focus on and the limited amount of time that you have to do it. For UFC 3, we wanted to actually tie you more into the brand, into the world and culture of MMA. So all the cutscenes that we've had in the past, they're all gone. This year, we included tons of real live footage with some of today's top UFC fighters. We call this feature the Career Live Movies uh, feature. So when you're going through career mode and say, for example, you get your first professional win, after the fight, you'll get a short little video with some UFC fighters talking about what it was like when they got their first win your first loss, your first title shot, uh, the first time you were training. Uh, and there's also tons of variations of these videos, so it won't be the same each time you play through. Every training game that you do in UFC 3 actually uses the gameplay mechanics. Some of the trainers did help us come up with ideas for some of the training games, uh, like the tire flip, and we also have uh, another drill where you're working on takedown defense by sprawling on balls that are rolled at you. It's something that the fighters actually do, and it's something that we can put in as a training game to help you practice your takedown using the actual game mechanics. We made some changes to the way that the WFA works this year. People were asking for longer time in those developmental leagues to grow your fighter before jumping into the UFC. It's up to you when you want to leave the WFA. You're no longer forced out of the WFA and into the UFC. When you win the WFA title, you have the option to defend it. The more that you defend your title, the higher your stake rises, and that will boost your starting position in the UFC. Uh, however, if you lose, the offers for the UFC will cease to come to you and you have to work your way back up. In UFC 3, the camp feature is really something I think fans will enjoy. There's six real world camps that you train at this year. You'll actually go to their gym and train in those locations with those fighters to pick up moves. The moves that you learn at each camp this year are unique to each camp, so it makes the camps a little bit more special. Midway through your career, you have the opportunity to actually join and become a member of that camp. You'll get the logo. The trainer from that camp will actually become your trainer in the career mode, so you'll have Greg Jackson in your corner, uh, something that we haven't done in the past. The actual progression of career mode itself is still the same. You'll start out on the ultimate fight nights and undercards of pay-per-views and things like that, trying to work your way up. Once you make it into the pay-per-view stage of your career, you'll start to get offers to actually go over to the Pride organization and compete in a Pride tournament. We didn't want it to be another organization so that you're choosing between spending your time in the UFC or Pride or WFA. So it's WFA and then once you get to the UFC, it branches into Pride or UFC, but you always come back to the UFC. Man, that was a brutal punch. I think one of the big things that the fans are going to love about career mode this year is the ability to play career mode with an actual roster fighter. You can use any fighter on the roster that includes pride fighters, so you can take any pride fighter into a career and level up their stats and give them moves and rewrite history or make history the same as it was before with that fighter. It's up to you. And it's really cool because that fighter can also move up and down in weight as you're playing through the career. So you can take John Jones and move him up to heavyweight if you want. It's something the fans have been asked for, something that we wanted to do, and it's finally in the UFC 3. Oh, 